Let me ask you about the Federal Reserve, Jamie. They've been signaling strongly they're going to cut rates. The question is why unemployment's low, GDP's pretty good, other parts of the economy pretty healthy, and yet we need a rate cut? Well, I, they haven't done anything yet. I think they signal that they can go either way at this point. You know, but you, you asked a very important thing. The why is often far more important than the what they do. If they're cutting rates because they're worried about the economy, that's not particularly so good. If they're cutting rates because they you know, want to grow things faster, that may not be so bad. So it really depends. And look, the, the Fed has to be data dependent. I mean, can you imagine the Fed saying, it doesn't make a difference what the data says, we're going to do what we feel like? So they're, they're trying to react properly to what's going on in the world, and they see the same things you and I see. Slightly reducing business confidence, slightly reducing uh, uh, capital expenditures, you know, a lot of geopolitical noise out there. Uh, they should be responsive. And what do you make of President Trump's war, no other way to call it, on Jay Powell and the Fed? I mean, the other day he called them, you know, clueless, essentially, acting like a stubborn child. Has he crossed the line? I, look, I think Jay Powell is a high-quality guy, and the president has his own way of communicating, so I'll let you t talk about how he does that. But Jay Powell is a quality guy. The central bank has to be independent. The central bank is independent. And most presidents in their heart of hearts want lower rates. That should never be a surprise to anybody.